I literally thought they just sent me a baggie full of hair. I'm not saying that a stranger on eBay would want to poison your eyeliner, but you know, just in case. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so very happy to see you today. It has been several, several days since I've actually sat down to film a video and now I'm all like nervous and jittery. It feels like the first time all over again. Really quickly before we begin, I just want to apologize for my crumbling face. You might not be able to see it because of these magical lights in front of me, but my skin has decided to like eject itself from my face area. And now I look like Professor Quirrell. <laughs> just crumbling away to dust. All right, so if you guys are wondering why I have a big question mark behind me, it is because we are opening a mystery box today. And you guys might be thinking, oh, you open mystery boxes literally constantly on your channel because you get subscription boxes out the wazoo. Well, this one is a little bit different. So this is a legitimate mystery box. Like I have no idea, not even a guess, not even like a like a potential thought of what could be inside of this box. So this here in this potentially very deceiving butterfly wrapping paper is our mystery box. I ordered this little guy here from eBay for $9.99 plus free shipping and the only description I got about it was basically it's a mystery. This little box right here could potentially contain trash, dried tarantulas, spoons I mean I don't I don't know I have no idea what is in this little box and the worst part is it's been sitting in my kitchen for two days and I haven't opened it because I've been waiting to make this video and if you're somebody who is as weak-willed as I am you know how difficult that is so I am finally ready to get into this box here and share my on-screen first reaction of whatever is in this box with you guys and I cannot wait so I grabbed a butter knife for safety and uh, we're just gonna cut around this beautiful butterfly wrapping paper and uh, oh butterfly butter knife huh? If I were Liza Koshi I'd probably have a better pun for that plus I'd also have like millions of dollars uh, but sadly that's not me. So first I'm going to begin by making an incision right here where the lid meets the bottom of the box and hopefully I can cut through tape with a butter knife. Yes I can. And you know I could be like not weird and actually just rip off the paper with my fingers but for some reason I wanted to do it with a knife. We have notes. It came tied up with some ribbons. Oh my gosh you guys this box is actually super adorable. It's like a little London themed box with like Big Ben and some little guards with the hats on them and all sorts of cute stuff. All right, inside we have a handwritten note, and I think this is a handwritten little envelope, which is absolutely adorable. So basically it just says, thank you for your purchase. I hope you'll love it and all the items inside. And they just signed enjoy with some XOs and XOs. That's really cute. All right, you guys, I have absolutely no idea what is in here. I'm actually really nervous for no reason. Um, I think I'm gonna let you guys see what's in here first before I even see it. So I'm gonna take off the lid and show you all. Hopefully it's not inappropriate. That would be terrible. Oh my gosh. Ooh, things are escaping. All right, guys, there's actually a lot of stuff in here. I can tell that it's a very girly looking box and it also looks like there's some beauty items. So that's pretty cool. All right, you guys, first up in our little mystery box here, we have a Stabilo Neon. Oh, it's a highlighter. That's actually awesome. I just started back to school, so this will definitely come in handy. It works perfectly fine. All right, next up in the box, we have this like little pink lacy looking thing and it's been nicely labeled coaster, so I know what it is. And that's actually really cute. Very girly, very cute with little hearts around the edges. All right, next up we have this little like pale pink geometric design thing with a little bit of bling on it. And this is actually a whiteout pin. That's a really cute little whiteout pin. Very adorable. All right, next up we have a purple pin and you can never go wrong with a nice pin. And next up we have this little like dangly gold anklet. I haven't worn an anklet in a very, very long time, but uh, you know, I could always give it another go. All right, and next up we have this tiny little bag it's just a pink little bag that clasps together and it looks like it can hang off your backpack. All right, next up in here, I was really confused about what this was. It looked like a broken pin, but there is a lovely little label on it that tells me that it is a nail art pin. And that's pretty cool. Um, You guys might be privy to the fact that I'm terrible at nail stuff, but uh, I could always give it a go. All right, and next up in here, this is actually super cute. This looks like a little travel set of some sort. So we have two little bottles here and two little pots and something else in the back. That's pretty adorable. You could definitely put some, you know, 
things in there and travel with it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my heart like dropped into my stomach. I saw this little baggie in here and I thought for sure they had just sent me like clippings of their hair. But then I, you know, I turned it over and uh, it's actually individual eyelashes. I literally thought they just sent me a baggie full of hair. And I mean, they do say this is natural hair, so technically it is a bag full of hair, but they serve some sort of purpose. It's not as weird as if they had just like chopped off a lock and like put it in a baggie and sent it to me. Um, they are meant for a reason. <laughs> all right, we still have several things in here, but I'm gonna take out all of these at the same time because I think they're the same thing. All right, up next we have all of these little Little, tiny individually packaged masks and towels and apparently they're compression masks and towels so they're really really tiny right now but I guess you put them in water and let them absorb and then they get bigger so we have three compressed towels one of them is a larger size and we have two small ones and then we have five compressed masks so these are pretty cool I've never actually seen these before but I have heard about them and I think it's a very interesting concept so I'll definitely be trying these out all right next up we have two packages of nails I guess I could sense that I needed nail help and um, yeah, they sent me two packages. However, this package here doesn't look like it's a full set. So uh, I could do like one hand on one day and then like another hand on another day with this one and you know, at least be fancy on one side. I am interested in this kind of like shape of nail, this more like almond shaped one. And I think there's a full set in here maybe. So I might actually try these out. And it also came complete with a little baggie here of nail art things. Um, Oh, that's what the pen's for. So I guess you like, pick these up maybe with the pin and then you can like dot them onto your nail. That's pretty cool. I didn't know what I was going to do with this, but now I think I, I understand. I maybe made a connection up there in my noggin. All right, next up, these are actually really cute. These are little push pins in different shapes. So we have some hearts and flowers and all sorts of adorable little push pins. All right, and the last thing I got in the box is actually a full-size eyeliner from Circa and it's still like nicely wrapped up in the protective plastic, which is good. Not saying that a stranger on eBay would want to poison your eyeliner, but you know, just in case. All right, so our box is now empty with the exception of a silica packet and then like one lone eyelash just hanging out right there. All right, you guys, so that was everything in our little mystery box. I think it was actually a pretty fun journey for us. I really like the concept of just literally having no idea what you're about to get into. We unbox a lot of subscription boxes on these channels and technically they are mystery boxes because you're not sure what you're getting. But this was like a 100% pure mystery box. It could have been filled with like clown figurines and bottle caps and you know that's what I paid for and that's what I would have gotten. So for me I just think it's kind of fun if you're a person who enjoys like surprises and that kind of thing you might enjoy this as well. I can definitely tell that this box is meant for like potentially a younger audience. It might have even been put together by somebody who was younger. But there are a ton of mystery boxes on eBay. I scrolled through a lot of them. They can range from like, you know, $10, $5, $100. The reason I actually did this video is because I saw another video on the internet like floating around of this girl getting three different mystery boxes at three different prices. I think it was like a BuzzFeed video maybe. And I was like, I unbox things, I should do that too. And she even got like a hundred dollar box and I was like, I don't have that much money to play around with. So I went and found myself a $10 box on eBay and then I entrusted my $10 with a stranger in exchange for whatever they felt like sending me. And it actually turned out to be a pretty decent experience. I'm not sure how many of these things I'm actually gonna use, but I hope you guys had a good time watching the video. But anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. If you would like to go ahead and enter into our 20K giveaway, that'll be linked down below for you guys. That giveaway is coming to a close. It is coming to an end. We only have a couple of days left until a winner is drawn and I'm just like freaking out. I'm so excited. And I really hope you guys are excited for the giveaway as well. Other than that, I'll show you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!